which I'll also have everything linked down in the description box below. We'll just find that number um, on that list. Welcome to another video. As you see by the title of this video, this is going to be Navy topic, Navy related. Big Navy has came out with brand new NAV admin 183-21, which I have right here in front of me. I have some areas highlighted that I plan on going over. Um, it's not every single word highlighted, but the areas that I feel are more relatable to the large majority of us that are in the military and that this information um, makes a big difference or a huge change for individuals. Let's go ahead and get started into the new Navy regulations. If you're unaware, uh, myself, I am H2 Owens and I am a second class petty officer in the Navy. Navy uniform regulations apply to all sailors equally regardless of their rank, grade, position held, ethnicity, or community assigned to. So normally, um, certain uniform regulations do not apply to certain sailors depending on their rank and depending on their community or the commands that they're assigned to. Navy is saying here that this applies to every single sailor that is in the United States Navy. The objective is to attract and retain the very best sailors, find the greater flexibility in our policy and practices, meaning the Navy is looking to be flexible and make changes. And this is also a result from feedback from the fleet and also direction from the Navy leadership of, hey, maybe we should make some updates or maybe we should make some changes to some things. So as I'm going over these, some of these are effective immediately and some of these are going to be effective within the next 60 days. So earrings, effective immediately for male sailors are authorized to wear earrings while in or liberty status when wearing civilian clothes and on and off military installations. The only part that this does not, or that they're not authorized to wear the earrings is when they're in civilian clothes and still performing official duties for male hair grooming standards. Effective immediately, male sailors' hair grooming standards are expanded to include bald, flat tops, fades, and high and tight hairstyles. Hairstyles may also have squared or rounded gradual tapers in the back of the head. Um, sideburns are not authorized with the ball hairstyle and the length of the sideburns still stays the same and unchanged as it has been before. This right here is the, the big change that a lot of people highlighted. A lot of people have shown more either praise towards or kind of anger towards. It was either change your, your shaving standards and they gave you a certain small window to figure out how you can shave within those standards or you'd have to get laser hair removal. If you cannot do either or, then you're looking at um, separation from the Navy. So effective immediately, medical and religious waiver beards are granted. So for medical purposes and for religious purpose, um, they are waiving the ability to have beards. Religious accommodations to wear a beard in line with the Bupers Instruction 7030.11 are authorized to optionally shave, outline, or shape the outer edge of the beard on the face and neck. Edging, outline, or shaping of beards is defined as the light clipping or trimming of hair at the very outer edges of the beard to give a shape appearance. So any irritation or discomfort that starts to happen to the face, um, you're supposed to stop the... Uh, the edging or the trimming and the clipping. A huge change into the regulations. A lot of people were having issues for the ones that um, definitely were having issues on the medical side of their beards and the nurse shave, um, coming up with the bumps on their face or just really uh, messing up their, their, their skin. This is a huge change for those sailors because they now fall under or fall back under the medical, uh, the medical waiver. So for female hair grooming, effective immediately, um, short length hairstyles that show the scalp are authorized. Overall, very short length hairstyles will not exceed two inches in bulk and four inches in length anywhere on the head. Very short length hairstyles may also include a taper at the back or the side of the head and one sided straight forth and aft hard part. Uh, the lower edge of the taper may be rounded, squared, or shapeless. The hard part are optional and will not exceed 4 inches in length 
and one eighth inch in width. One hard part may be edged, shaved, or clipped on the left or the right side of the head. Uh, I'm going to skip a couple prescribed head coverings. We're going to skip the military coverings and POVs or privately owned vehicles, female dress shoes, male swimmers, um, dual ID badge, option of wearing, uh, manner of wear for women, manner of wear for men. If you're interested in these topics, just look up this uh, NAV admin, NAV admin 183-TAC21, which I also have everything linked down in the description box below, which you can just click on it, and it'll bring up all of the, the recent NAV admins and just find that number um, on that list. But accented names effective immediately, sailors whose legal names contain accents or authorized to include to display the accent of their name tags, name patches, or name tapes while wearing a uniform. Uh, previously, uh, if you had like um, a dash over a certain letter or uh, some type of um, a symbol that helped accent your, your name, the Navy did not recognize that. So you would still have all of the characters of just lettering, just not any special characters. Now the Navy sees special characters and is authorizing that in all of the uniforms. So that's a, a big change for those individuals that have um, certain characters in their names to help enunciate or pronounce uh, or accent certain areas. This is going over the effective immediately for sailors wearing Navy working uniforms, type 2 and type 3, the NWUs. Um, for sailors may optionally wear one or two shorter patches when wearing the type 2 or type 3 NWUs. So those are the patches that we usually wear on the shoulders. Before you either wore no patches or both patches. Now they're allowing you to wear just one if you choose to. If the command patch, um, if, the if the command is requiring you to wear a certain patch or um, both patches, then the command is directed and should be the ones to procure the issuing of those patches for each sailor. NW shorter patches may be either laser cut or embroidery construction. So there was a, a lot of confusion of only ones that were supposed to be embroidered, which are a lot nicer in my opinion, um, are the C CBs. And everyone else is supposed to have the laser cut. But now they're saying all sailors are authorized to have the laser cut and the embroidered construction. So the laser cut ones are very, very thin, and it's almost like a laminated... Um, laminated uh, feel over the flag so the embroidered construction is the embroidered more like um, material made throughout the whole entire patch and they don't wear as easy as that la laser cut the laser cut it can kind of crack on you it can start peeling turn colors description of eyeglasses so effective 60 days from the release of this message Authorized prescription eyeglasses and frames worn in uniform must be silver, gray, black, brown, navy blue, gold, or clear translucent. The frame around the lens can be of different or authorized color. Frame color can also consist of a combination of silver, gray, black, brown, navy blue, gold, and or clear translucent. So before, I believe you could only have one color, one solid color, and it had to be one of the authorized colors. And now they're allowing the combination of two authorized colors. And that is with prescription glasses and with uh, sunglasses. For sunglasses, effective within 60, effective 60 days from the release of this message, authorized worn with uniform must have solid color frames and may be silver, gray, black, navy blue, brown, tan, gold, or green. The frames, around, the frames around the lens can be different or authorized colors. The lenses will be non-mirrored, black, brown, dark green, or dark gray. Sunglasses may have small logos on the frames or on the lens. And the still, as it was last instruction, um, you cannot wear the sunglasses on the top of the head, like on the, on the bill of your cover. You cannot wear on the top of your head or hanging off or around your neck. That part did not change. Another big one that's going to affect a lot of sailors is going to be bracelets, wrist watches, smart watches, and fitness trackers. Effective 60 days from the release of this message, wrist watches 
wearing uniform expanded to include smartwatches and fitness trackers. Only one wristwatch slash smartwatch and one fitness tracker can be worn simultaneously and each on a different wrist. So you cannot wear both of your, you cannot wear your watch and your, your fitness tracker, your calorie counter or your, um, your heart rate watch on the same arm. So you can wear one on one arm and one on the other. The authorized fitness tracker slash smartwatch colors when you're in the navy uniform includes solid black, brown, dark green, gray, navy blue, tan white, copper with a gold medal, silver medal, and gold and silver combination but metal only. Smart watches and fitness trackers are subject to applicable security regulations, meaning if you're in a certain secure space where you should not have a smart watch um, inside that area, then the navy still sees that as a secured regulated space and you are not authorized to wear the smartwatch, your heart rate monitor, anything that has that Bluetooth um, capability or has some type of pairing capability, you're not supposed to wear into certain secured spaces. Bracelets worn while in uniform may consist of natural metals, fabricated materials such as plastics, wood, silicone, or stone, and may be solid, black, brown, dark green, gray, navy blue, tan, white, copper, gold, and silver. You cannot wear your, your watch or your smart watch on the side of the bracelet. So if you do wear a bracelet and you plan on wearing a watch or, or your smart watch, then you're going to have a bracelet on one arm and then the smart watch on the other. Pretty much any time you plan on wearing something on your wrist, it's only going to be one item on each wrist. But that's going to conclude um, the parts that I've highlighted. So if you are interested, like I said, look up the nav admin down in the links below. You will see the nav admin uh, website that I will post there. Just wanted to come on here because this policy and this update came out this past week. So it is super fresh. A lot of it still is not even in um, effectiveness yet because uh, up to 60 days from the release of the message. So if you guys like this video, if you like this type of video where I just kind of go over brand new policies and regulations that are going to affect all sailors or certain sailors, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, what do you think about the changes as well? Um, the ones that I've highlighted and the ones I've gone over or the ones that you dig a little bit deeper and you find that the Navy has also made inside of this nav admin. So leave those down in the comments below. Uh, I'll also check the comments. Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can see other videos that I come out with, Navy related, life, travel, vlogs, uh, food adventures, and things like that. So, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.